Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another review. Today, we're going to get started on the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. Um, I am trying out something new. I'm trying to get this thing rolling on my DSLR. I am aiming to do better in terms of my videography because it does not match my level of photography, and that annoys the living hell out of me. Um, so thank you for sticking by as I've been trying literally everything. So um, here we are with the SH Figure Arts Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. And I got to say, this likeness is amazing. It's probably one of the best ones we've gotten in terms of looking like Mark Hamill. I mean, this this re this one really, really knocked it out of the park. And it's really refreshing. Um, the new body is also pretty cool, too. I mean, literally what it is, is that it is the black suit with now Jedi robing. And it's crazy how a simple look like that can go such a long way. So uh, let's talk about it. Let me back it on up like a U-Haul truck. I'm really trying to learn these new camera settings as I've had to literally change around the way I, I sit in my chair as I do things. So this is going to be a little funky. Um, but yes, in terms of articulation, this is really funny. Our Luke can look a little up. He can look a little down. He can tilt side to side. But it's crazy because my neck peg does not sit very well. But as you can see, the neck peg actually does have a lot of oh i'm not sure if you can see that it's probably blurring see and this is what i was talking about trying to step it up i can't do things the old way so please bear with me um but as you can see here right the neck movement is impeccable but mine does not sit just deep enough it sits high enough but i wouldn't say it sits deep enough because or maybe it's just too tight and i'm just being a wimp because i don't want to break it but as you can see the articulation is all there and that makes for really good posing, obviously, right? One of the things I'm also really enjoying is this new butterfly joint. Now, with the butterfly joint, it's really dope because if you want to get into certain stances, especially ones from the comics or comic styled, right? We can hit the T-pose with no problem. But as you can see, the butterfly joints actually can rotate out. I do like that. Now, let's see if we can get it to close enough to rotate see so that means the arms can cross which means he can definitely hold a lightsaber mine's also has a small issue with the fist that being that the paint rub from the cloak i'm sure if it's picking up on that let's zoom on in just a slight bit of paint rub on the knuckles but it adds some some uh sentimental value say he's all worn in right with that being said we do have a nice ball joint here and with, ooh, these are nice folds. It had me fooled for a second. Thought there was articulation under there. Our legs can go forward. This is going to hold it up just a little bit, but we can hit that 90 degree. We do have a single joint. Same for the arms. Unfortunately, they are single jointed. There is an invisible bicep swivel on the inside. As you can see, you can rotate it up and down. And we have our single joint. The pegs do out, uh, extend here in case you want to add some extra articulation. Which is a little odd, but it's not like they haven't done that before. And as you can see, the ankle pivot is super generous on this Luke. This is actually a brand new joint to allow for maximum ankle pivot. So, and it's inside thigh swivel. But, like I said, let's say you wanted to get some force poses. Let's say you got your lightsaber. We're going to imagine he has a lightsaber at this time. But, I really do like the fact that we can focus punch. We can set up some force poses. We can actually hold our lightsaber in a way that would look really, really cool. I'm not sure which form Luke uses. I am not that versed, well versed in, uh, in Jedi. But yeah, this is really nice. I'm going to aim down just a little bit to try to focus this up. All right? What we are going to do is we're going to talk about the accessories very quickly. One of those things are going to be his cloak that I spoke of. Now, the cloak is actually pretty nice. All right. What you can do is you can pop the head off. We're going to just put it right over him. Now, as you can see, the hood looks really big, but because it's wired, you can actually press it down and fold it to work for Luke. I think this is one of the things that I actually really enjoy. Looks really, really good on him. 
right? It is wide across the bottom and the tips are pretty cool. So that way, the only thing you can't do get flowing is that nice backflow. You may need a stand for that, but because it's wide at the bottom, you can do this. And, what, and this is what I'm going to probably recommend that you do. You're going to try to bunch it up at the bottom and make it flow under itself or you kind of fold it over him and kind of let the arms do the work, right? So that way you can fold outward. Like this, right? You'll make Luke look some way. And you can fold it out to kind of just look really cool. It looks like a terrible Halloween costume. But it isn't a bad cloak. But obviously, some of us know people who are going to make different cloaks. So you have people like Harker Customs. You'll have Fizzled Customs. Um, wow. There's uh, Strupp Family Crafts. There are a ton of people who are going to make other cloaks. So you have a bunch of different choices there with that. Right? Then we're going to jump onto the lightsaber. We have our tiny little lightsaber here. Right? That was the bottom of it. Here's our top. And what's cool about this is you can remove this piece and then you can add the blade or well, kyber crystal i guess when it's in effect so as you can see here ooh, we have our green lightsaber looking solid but what's really cool is they give you a moving saber effect which kind of shows it in motion this is really dope right you could turn it around either way, but you can see it in motion. I do like that. You also, just in case you can't see it, there's going to be an opening right at the bottom of the hilt, right? That is where you'll be able to latch your saber into it's for like a standby mode or when you want to carry it and look good for photos. Let's see if I can tab that in properly without panicking on camera, <laughs> right? And I did it anyway. All right. <laughs> Let's just put our hood down. Fix our leg articulation. But yes. Now we're going to talk about the hands. Now. Actually, I like that pose a lot. And this is kind of what the struggle is about working on DSLR. Is that whole focus thing. And even though I have it on autofocus. It's not doing any of that. <laughs> which is a little frustrating. So again, please bear with me. As you can see, he does have closed fists. Right? So you will get item holding hands, which is basically your your, sword, your saber holding hands, right? On your gloved hand, right? The gloved hand will come opened. Whereas the non-gloved hand will come as a solid piece for sliding the saber through. And it should technically still fit. And it does, right? So you shouldn't have too much to worry about with that. Then you will get force use hands. Right? One gloved, one ungloved. You will get relaxed hands. As usual, one gloved, one ungloved because your robotic hand can't show. And then you get one hand for holding Grogu. You get one left hand for holding Grogu. Which is pretty cool. And that about sums up everything that he comes with. Again, I like this Luke. If you've had a million looks before this, you may be all looked out. And that's understandable. It's, it's not easy out here right now. But if you haven't gotten one before and you have a chance to get one now, next up is the size comparison. I'll compare it to the previous look that I have from Return of the Jedi and uh, a few other Star Wars figures. So let's think from other lines. So let's get started. All right, guys, now we're on to the size comparison. And again, thank you for bearing with me as I try things out with the DSLR. Um, I'm going to see how it comes out. My wife is going to check on the feedback for everything. Uh, and if it goes well, we'll keep trying this. But so right now, it's just a test. So again, thank you. First things first, in the size comparison, let's compare it to the Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. And this one seems a little bit taller, a little bit slimmer too. But you can see that where they took the similarities from. But you can also see the differences in the paint job and the light. So let's move these guys a little bit forward, right? I'm going to back it on up just a little bit, right? And we can see our sculpt differences. We can see the height. We can see where there's differences. One thing I definitely want to try is to, I was going to say pop the heads on, but they're on completely different pegs. But just in case you want to just pop it on top of the neck and see how it looks. 
it's not it's not terrible but it definitely is a difference let's take a look as you can see here this actually looks pretty good if the pegs actually work this would be dope right and then we have our other one which you can't do because of the pegs here so let's pop you back on let's take away our luke right then let's see what else we can get into as we fix that next up we have han solo from shf han's a bit taller which i don't mind at all i actually think that's a good look right next up here is shf vader Ooh, and he knocked down luke because of his long flowing cape or cloak i should say and i really do like these two their size comparison a lot i like that there's a big height difference in the two i really do like that let's gently take this guy away next we're going to do our SHF Season 2 Mandalorian. Let's actually fix those legs. And this is what happens when you take people fresh out the box. Right here is Mando. Next up, we're going to use Boba. Right? So these are all guys from the same show. Looking pretty good. Not all the same height, but not all different either. Next up, we're going to do... Oh, perfect. Before I forget, here is Mafex Mando. In case you want to compare him on the side. Let's remove these three. Next up, we have Ahsoka Tano from the Black Series. And we have Fennec Shan. So everybody can have their nice little their rendezvous. Let's take these guys away. Next up, we'll do a Black Series Stormtrooper, the Remnant version. Uh, the, the Black Series Stormtroopers are about the same height as the SHF. Just in case you're wondering. I'm going to mix them in with photos later, but I just couldn't find them right now. Next up, we will do an Articulated Icons Ninja. In case you want to get a different variant of styles or just get crazy. Here we are with a Mythic Legions. My Kit Bash Custom. Next, we will have an Action Force Rollout. Now, as you can see, Luke is definitely on the smaller side, being an SHF. Last but not least, for fun because I enjoy doing it. Here we are with SHF Kamen Rider Kuga. These guys are around the same height and they're buddies. So I I'm okay with that. Um, thank you again so much for real, for sticking it out. Uh, trying out the video, working on the audio issues for my DSLR. Cause we can definitely get the quality there. I just gotta really, really fine tune the issue videography wise with focus because I use manual lenses and I'm definitely screwing myself over with that, um, at least in the videography department. So I'm really going to try to work it through, hoping that you bear with me and you like that I'm trying to up my video quality because uh, it means a lot for me to just kind of try and experiment, but also like, you know, give better quality back. So again, thank you as always. I do appreciate you guys. I hope you're having a lovely day, weekend, night, morning, whatever it is you're watching this on your drive or just on the train to work. Please. Thank you. And as always, please, be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.